Driving an automatic transmission vehicle can seem much easier than a manual car because the functions are intuitive and it's helpful in various situations like being stuck in traffic or driving on a climbing road. However, if it looks like a basic transmission, there's something you should know. That's why we're going to analyze the eight most common mistakes while driving an automatic car. Number eight, switch to reverse while moving. When driving, make sure to come to a complete stop before switching from drive to reverse or vice versa. Why is that? Firstly, you can wear out the transmission because you brake, engaging a different mode instead of using the actual brakes. The car will stop, but you'll wear out the belt of the automatic gearbox. The transmission band is in a position difficult to reach and repair. Thus replacing it is expensive and time-consuming compared to replacing brakes, which are easy to reach and repair. Number 7. Coast in neutral on a downhill. As we've already said for the manual transmission, it's not convenient in terms of energy. First of all, you don't have full control of the car. You can't accelerate, and you can only reduce speed using the brakes. Technology in modern cars cut fuel to the engine on a downhill. Preventing coasting and becoming more fuel efficient, just like in manual transmission cars. Number 6 always keeping your fuel tank low. Many people drive constantly with the fuel tank running on low, most of the time because there's no petrol stations around or because they're low on cash. Nevertheless, keeping the tank on low may cost a lot in the long run. In particular, if you drive a car with an automatic transmission, the biggest problem is the car's fuel pump staying on low. Over time, it may get damaged due to dust and sediment from the bottom of the tank that are put back into circulation. Number five, put the car in neutral at a traffic light. In contrast with the dues of the manual transmission, in an automatic transmission, you should keep drive mode engaged. Many think that holding the brake pedal with the gear engaged is fuel consuming causing unnecessary wear on the transmission. Actually, the wear of the engine and the fuel waste are really low. The actual wear comes from engaging and disengaging the car into neutral, which damages the parts of the gearbox. Number four, putting the car into park before a complete stop. Parking, as the name suggests, is the mode used when you park the car. However, many make mistakes using it. The most common one is putting into park before the car comes to a complete stop. Engaging park while still moving, the prawl, a locking pin, can get cut or even broken and it's very expensive to repair. Number three, launch your car aggressively. Many people love to launch from the traffic light, especially young drivers in fast cars. It's cool, but it slowly kills the transmission. The launch methods are many with various levels of harmfulness. Some are very dangerous, some are less. The classic method, just flooring the pedal, is less damaging. You can do it sometimes or if you really have to. Launch using the brake. Hold the brake while flooring the throttle to increase the RPM gaining more power. This method is quite damaging, but it depends on how many RPM the engine reaches before we release the brake pedal. Launch in neutral. Floor the pedal in neutral to increase the RPM, then switch to drive once we reach the desired RPM. This is the worst method. It ruins the gearbox and you should avoid it. Number two, delay changing the transmission fluid. In automatic transmissions, there is more heat produced. This means more carbon ending up contaminating the transmission fluid. Over time, these components will thicken the fluid, which won't work effectively anymore. Always follow the manufacturer's specifications and don't miss the next change cycle. Number one, frequently moving the gear stick. 
As already said, many of us tend to put into neutral or parking every time we stop for a few seconds. Putting into neutral is good for manual transmissions, but it's never a good idea to often switch positions of the gear stick of the automatic transmission. This is caused by the different structure of the two types of transmissions. Thus, it's better to avoid this kind of habit with the automatic one. Some drivers usually put into neutral even while driving. Firstly, it's a very dangerous behavior to avoid with any type of transmission. Secondly, it causes damage to the gearbox components. By switching from drive into neutral, nothing too bad happens. The big damage occurs switching from neutral into drive. In that very moment, you could hear a noise, which indicates the excessive strain, damage, and increased wear of many components. We've analyzed the most common mistakes driving an automatic car. Did you already know them? Have you heard of other driving habits that could damage the car, in particular the gearbox? Let us know in the comments below. If you found this video useful, please let us know by leaving a comment and a thumbs up. You can also share it. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Find out our next project on our website, jawscompany.com.